सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टिल नाउ ऑफ द डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग आई हैव कवर्ड टू मॉड्यूल्स सो वी हैव लेफ्ट टू थ्री मॉड्यूल्स सो नॉट मच वीडियोस आर गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम नाउ एंड सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स फ्रॉम दीज थ्री मॉड्यूल्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इट ओके सो द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज इमेज एनहांसमेंट इन स्पेशल डोमेन ओके इन दिस वी हैव फ्यू ऑफ द टॉपिक्स टू बी डिस्कस्ड वन इज द ग्रे लेवल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन under the degree level transformation we have a different set of categories where the uh, enhancing the image in spatial domain with respect to different transformation techniques and all we are going to see under gray level transformation then we have one more important process related to the histogram processing okay so based on that uh, histogram processing we have a few problems to be discussed then some other things are left in this module based on the uh, sharpening of the image and the smoothing of the image okay where we are going to use some filters and some derivative filters to uh, uh, to give the difference between the image sharpening and image smoothing okay so those these are the things which are going to discuss in this module first introduction to image enhancement what do you mean by image enhancement it modifies the intensities of pixels in an image so that it can be more suitable for a specific application okay different enhancement process suits different applications an enhancement method is good for an application but may be bad for the another application okay so on the spatial domain the image enhancement can be uh, helping in a role such as improving the interpretability or perception of information in images for human viewers providing better input for other automated image processing techniques okay so better input in the sense based on the image quality uh, whatever pixel values or whatever intensity values the picture requires in order to improve it would be provided automatically okay then some of the spatial domain methods under spatial domain methods the operation is directly on pixels okay in, you should be keeping in mind in spatial domain the operation would be directly on pixels whereas in the frequency domain the operation would be on the fourier transform of the image okay it won't be directly on the pixels so this is the difference between spatial domain and frequency domain image enhancement its goal is it processes an image so that the result is more suitable than the original image for a specific application then visual interpretation and problem oriented okay so uh, there are two categories mainly one is spatial domain okay where direct manipulation of pixels would be happening based on the point processing and neighborhood processing and one more category is the frequency domain it modifies the fourier transform of the image okay so this one image is an example for the image enhancement okay so here the some of the operations are taking place so this is basically the uh, bit uh, contrast stretching where the contrast of this image has been improved if you see these four images the final image would be having the higher number of contrast that is the darker pixels are used to see this image okay so here this, this is called as contrast stretching so that we are going to see in the uh, upcoming uh, uh, video okay the background of this spatial domain processing is that g of g of x comma y is equal to t of f of x comma y where this t is the processing function and uh, f of x comma y is input and g of x comma y is the output okay input image and output image this t is called as the operator which is defined over some neighborhood of x comma y okay now let us see with the some basic gray level transformations so there are some of the important gray level transformations which you need to be knowing for this image enhancement under spatial domain okay so the first one is image negatives that is the complement then we have log transformation then we have power law transform piece wise linear transform gray level slicing and bit plane bit plane slicing okay so these are the basic gray level transformations which are used in this we are going to go through with the image negatives log transformation power law gray level and bit plane slicing in detail okay so this is the lookup table or the functional form of this gray level where we have different different Uh, gray level transformation such as image negatives this is the negative line so this is for log this line is for log this is for negative here this is inverse log this is identity 
this is nth power and this is nth root okay so this this is the negative line as you could see here this is the input gray level and output gray level if you compare image negative is the opposite of that input would be opposite of that of the output it would be inverse of that that is if uh, if we take the input as pixel 0 the output would be pixel 255 okay so see here input gray level initially it was 0 so the output would be inverse of 0 that is 255 like that if we take 1 it would be 254 and it would be going on so this is the negative image line then we have log transformation this is the log of the uh, whatever input has been taken input gray level output gray level where l is equal to 2 power k so this you might be knowing the relation l is equal to 2 power k based on that the input and output gray levels are taking place okay so intensity transformation functions the first is negative transformation for this the formula is s is equal to t of r where s is equal to l minus 1 minus r image with negative transformation suited for enhancing white or gray detail embedded in the dark regions okay so you see this image here if you observe this image carefully these two image carefully there are many changes in the image that is black uh, this is the original image and this is the transformed image that is the negative transformation what it what it has been done is wherever the white shades are there that is converted into black shades here and wherever black shades are there that is converted into white shades here okay but if you look at first glance you will be thinking that both the images are of uh, are of same color but it's not like that if you observe carefully wherever white shades are there you see here here we have white shade here and this white shade is converted black in black shade here okay so the completely image negation is taking place so image negative this is the graph here and this is the equation as i've told you in the main graph so look at this so next type is intensity transformation function next is log transformation okay it is given by s is equal to c log of 1 plus r transformation it maps a narrow range of low intensity values in the input into a wider range of output levels the opposite is true of higher values of input levels this helps in spreading comparison of intensity levels in the image compresses the dynamic range of image with large variations in the pixel values okay so this main thing uh, this is used for mainly for the application of spreading or compressing of any intensity levels in the image okay so if you want any image compression to be taking place with the large variation in the pixel values so this log transformation is used so here you see the image here in these two images you could be finding that this is slightly a brighter image and this is less brighter image so that what they have done is here from this part they have taken some of the white shades and uh, they have uh, added some gray shades so that it would be looking somewhat dull image okay so this is for log transformation next we have power law transformation under this we have power law transformation has a basic form that form is s is equal to c r of gamma where c and gamma are the positive constants okay so this is the graph for different gamma values for under power law transformation uh, ranging from 0.04 to 25 okay how the graph would be looking like input and output gray level graph you just uh, note it down okay this is for power law transformation next let us see with the contrast stretching so in the in beginning of the image i've told you the, the the image of this peanut here that is contrast stretching for a low contrast image that is this image we feel it uncomfortable and sometimes cannot see the details clearly right so for in order to see the details in a very clear manner we do this contrast stretching where the contrast of the image is getting stretched based on the here you see here it is given here it, it is a form of transformation function this is a low contrast image the result of contrast stretching is shown in the final image here okay so what it does is in order to look the image in a very clear manner it just increases the brightness and the intensity level together okay so that the range of the image would be very very clear uh, which uh, darkens the background and brightens the contents which is present okay in this case the content is the peanut here that would be getting brighter so this is the contrast stretching and this is a contrast stretching graph based on the different levels under contrast stretching so note it down next is gray level slicing sometimes uh, need to highlight a specific range of gray levels in an image the two approaches for this gray level slicing are first is a high value of for all gray levels in the range of interest and low value for all other gray levels it brightens the desired range of gray levels okay but preserve all other parts including the 
background okay so these are the two approaches for gray level slicing so you see here in this image the gray level slicing how it is taking place so here this is the complete graph right uh, in this the gray level this part is the gray level and that is getting sliced here so this is the slicing part of gray level where the some in the middle portion of the image the uh, appropriate gray level is getting sliced okay where the gray level of the part is getting selected and that is divided into separate category and that is called as gray level category okay so that is getting sliced here so in these two graphs you could be change, seeing that change here okay so you see here in this figure 3.11 this information highlights the range of a comma b okay this is the a comma b is basically the range here okay so this range of gray levels and reduces all others to a constant level okay so this is for gray level and all other part that is from 0 to a and b to l minus 1 is a constant level this transformation highlights the range a comma b but preserves all other levels uh, c is the image and the d is the result of the following transformation from a comma b okay next is bit plane slicing uh, in this bit plane slicing you know that uh, one pixel carries different 255 intensity levels that is 0 to 255 total of 256 okay so that it would be containing 8 bits okay so these are the 8 bits here that is b7 b6 b5 b4 b3 b2 b1 b0 bit plane slicing in separating the bits into different parts that is separate uh, taking one bit out of the pixel so that the pixel intensity level should be reduced okay in that way the bit plane slicing should be made so that the quality of the image would be getting reduced not affecting the picture okay the quality image quality could be reduced by this one technique called as bit plane slicing okay suppose we use one byte that is eight bits to store the gray level value for each pixel as follows for all pixel in an image we take all bits in the same position which makes it a bit plane okay so this is a diagram for the bit plane slicing okay this is for one one eight bit byte okay and these are the different set of bit planes are which are getting sliced this is bit plane 7 this is which is most significant and the lower one is bit, bit plane 0 which is the least significant okay so example you say it, they have taken it as 150 to the base 10 bit plane slicing is happening in this way okay just to categorize the complete uh, structure okay so this is the equivalent binary number for 150 that is 1001 okay how the bit plane slicing is happening it is shown here okay so just uh, note it down so yeah, that's all for this video guys these are some of the important techniques under gray level transformation which i wanted to tell you guys so that's all for this video please like this video share this uh, video to a huge number and support us and subscribe to our channel okay thank you we'll see you in the next video